Chris. Hello, lad. Hello, lad. Hello, lad. All right. Good to see you, man. You too. First of all, obviously, you won an outfit. Yes. Um, what is it for? I'm going to be going on the weekend, I think. I want to be looking good for that. As always, lad. Yeah. You've obviously got a few pieces from us beforehand. I'm trying to actually remember what you do have. For a t-shirt, I got a nice jacket. The play more Murray on. Turbulence yeah, one, didn't yeah, you? I think that yeah. was for your last... Uh, Press conference. It was, wasn't yeah, it? Uh, yeah. I think first of all, I think we can kind of go. I think that'd be kind of nice. I, obviously, I've got them on today with the, the black and the white. The levy. Yeah. But I think we'll go with the elements with them. Yeah. And I think I've had a pair actually in, in the past, have a white pair. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, lovely. The green one. Just plain, plain but there. lovely, yeah. But these are these these are these are like they took it off a level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I feel like I mean what what colour do you prefer? And then we can get to them in a minute anyway, and I can show you them. But um I think with them, actually that's probably More the first thing we yeah. can do. I always start from a trainer up. Yeah, we build the outfit yeah, from there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether that's just me, but we're gonna look, obviously we've got a lot of Got four different options in these now. With these two, they're the Logans by Elements, and what they do, they've, they've got uh, the contrast and lace in them. Yeah. So you can get like the navy or the black, but yeah. I personally for myself there all day. Yeah. Along with them, they've actually both done really well being in here. Yeah. So we sold a few online, a few in here. Yeah. So yeah, I bet was it. Oh my god, feel unreal. Quality in them, yeah. but at one seventy. I, I can't I, complain. I think even but... like when you talk, obviously when we talk about trainers and stuff like this, you're looking at like Nike and they're like 200 these days. But I think with them, I think you've got multiple options. That's it? unreal, mate. I yeah. think if you can't, do you like them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll get you a size in them. Hmm. I put with them because then I can sort of piece something sort of from together. There, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we've kind of got something on the, the cards right now. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to go and get. Oh, they're, they're, they're nice as well, you know, both colours, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I've got at home. Have I got anything that's similar, like that black and white? And I ain't, but I've not got nothing like this either. I'm very boring, as you know, man. I only yeah. wear all black. Yeah, you can, so, match, you can match with anything with it. Yeah, you mean any colour? To. Can I add your colour to your new t-shirt? I've got a little colour pop in yeah. there as well. <laughs> so, so then, I think, go to small, actually, aren't you? You get yeah. the small, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So, well, we'll be in a, in a month's time. Yeah, got away in, got away in at 10 stones. Good, good, weight's going well. Yeah. I think like, that's, that's what probably thing I find a bit difficult the weight, especially as I get older now, but um, mm. yeah, I always get it done. Always mm. get it done. Got a nutritionist around me, so just tells me what to eat. So just stick to the plan. I think I need one of them as well. <laughs> I'll be a small, hopefully one day. Or uh, but now, obviously for yourself now, that's, that's you're leading up, you're fighting four weeks now, isn't yeah. it? Um, it's in Belfast. In Belfast, um, in the SSC arena. Yeah. I boxed it a few times before, all good, all wins, knockout wins. So mm -hmm. let's keep, keep it going. But it's, um, it's a oh. top opponent I've got. Yeah. I know him well, I respect him, and um, it's going to take the best me to beat him, but that's what I'm going to bring, the best me. I'm sure you can do that, I'm sure you will. I'm going to. So we're going to get, personally, I'm I'm more of a, the plain pants, so I've yeah. got the plain pants on today. Yeah. Um, it's cargo. It's a very 50-50 thing, people yeah. love the cargo, so yeah. people love the plain pants, so yeah. I mean, for yourself, what would you, what would you prefer? Yeah, I think I'd go for the plane as well. Plain ones, but uh, let's have a look at the cargo. The cargo's uh, had a nice option. We can sort a little jacket out on the top. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think the rest are just so, it's a very easy pair up, really. I think that I say that's you before, it just sort of pieces things together. Yeah. A hell of a lot easier now. I can sort of visualize it. Would you try them or the plane? <sighs> the plane is so simple, isn't it? Just They're easy. Things. Yeah. Like I said, I'll probably go with more stuff. I've got like the probably go with the jacket I've already got from years as well. The plain ones? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go for the plain. What weight style though? 30. 30, yeah. He's also got it. So we can get them. Oh, do you want nice. this to look a bit smarter or are you just happy being a quite casual, casual smart, let's say? And... Yeah, I want it for like, if I, if I was going on, if I was going on a night out, still still could wear it. I mean, mm -hmm. like, a night, like a night out in town. You're not going to wear the bubble coat going on. No. We obviously try in here and try and obviously offer them smarter pieces along with obviously this tailor. I mean, a lot of people be wearing these cargos going out. So I actually think you can actually make them look smarter with yeah. the things that we do. Yes. What was your, probably your go-to brand as like a kid? As a kid? I see, like in yeah, but because I'm boxing sports, so in the secondary school, I think yeah, just 
a piece of Adidas and Nike, yeah, just that's all. So yeah, so we were in tracksuits and that was it. But like tracksuit for Christmas, Easter, whatever. That's yeah, just Nike or the Adidas. I wasn't picking out all the all the big so, yeah. name stuff. I wasn't. I wasn't into it. I guess. But again, we were talking about it the other day. I remember like the likes of like Scott and all that. Do you know what I mean? So I'm one of those Scott or these are the Scott on the back. Yeah, they were sick. Uh, like uh, the big thing from when I was um, in secondary school, everyone had. Lacoste chuckies. I couldn't, yeah, afford, yeah. couldn't afford the one because they're quite expensive. Look, yeah. Looking at now, they're not even that expensive, but back then for me, they were expensive. Wow. Everyone had them. They were sick. I just wanted one of them. Lacoste chucky. That mm -hmm. was the biggest, like one piece of clothing I wish I had growing up, but uh, I just didn't have yeah. Lacoste. Yeah. Do you remember? I'm sure my age, yeah. You probably, probably you don't even you remember it. Rockport, remember Rockport oh, when it came yeah, out? Yeah. Rock, everyone had Rockport. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Everyone had a pair of Rockport, man. Oh, I wanted a pair of them as well. K Swiss. Do you remember when they came out? Wow, yeah. I used to just blew do you up. Know what the K Swiss, yeah. my K Swiss that I had, and I actually I think I worked in my mum's fella's uh, drum shop. So we, I, was, I think I worked there for like three or four consecutive weekends to get yeah, like the, the money to buy them. But I got the ones that you could change the tabs. The colour, yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like a new two pair of one, and I was like, <laughs> <See? "Yeah." laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, big, big training for me when I was a kid. The Forest Comps, you know, the Nike yeah, Cortez, yeah, yeah, they were big. I, I got a pair of them, I had a pair of them, the all white Nike Air Force Ones. Yeah. I like them, yeah. Very easy shoe, that one. Yeah, but then they, when you're there, you're only trainer. They'd last about a week. I or don't think sneaker shields exist at them. Do you wear like an overshirt? I've never, never tried it, yeah, but it's okay. Give it a go, yeah. Give it a go. Right, so what I'll do, I'll grab it because it's on the stairs. Okay. Do you prefer a zip up or a button? I think the, the sip up ones ever, you know? Yeah. It's just a bit casual. Yeah. But it looks Let's good. Go for that. Yeah, so the likes of them. Yeah. Lovely that's yeah. Like a, yeah. Yeah. I think that collectively, <laughs> that's like your little colour pop in the middle. But if you got you're wearing green today, would you wear the green? Yeah, I love green, one of my favourite colours. Green it up. I wear a t-shirt, okay, yeah. It's yeah, unusual green black. look green looks boss with black. <laughs> you can kinda go like that. We've got a new twin coming in soon, right? With the green on it, it's going to be called the cluster print. Yeah. And it's basically like, sort of looks like a camera, sort of broken up a little bit. Mm. And it's got the green writing on it. I have like that little colour pop, so like on the black and stuff like that, it's, man, yeah, it's yeah. nice. But then little play merchandise t-shirts as well on top. But I'll give you the other colour and you can try them on as well. Yeah. Um, what I'll do, I'll put them in the changing room here. Pants. Cheers, bro. Uh, as I say, give them all a whirl and then we'll see what it looks like once you go on. Yeah. Because of the uh, colours that are in the trainer, I think that will sort of kind of blend naturally okay. with what you've got. Yeah. Now, by all means, you like the one on, then but, yeah. yeah, I think that fits you all right. And obviously, yeah. if, you, if you're shutting down a little bit before, before the fight, yeah. then it'll be sweet, you know yeah. what I mean, as well. So, what do you think? Yeah. The elements look sound. Loving them, yeah. yeah. The part, it like, sets up the outfit perfect on the okay. You can do that way. You put the clothes in and don't want to put your own, you want to put yeah, the own back on them. It's got a bit yeah. on it. <laughs> Just what we've designed this as is to create that sportswear approach into like more of a smarter, tailored, um, luxury clothing, I suppose, of the collection. Yeah. So we're seeing major growth as we're going on and that the collection's moving forward because obviously a lot of people, especially from like lockdowns and all this, sportswear, Definitely. if they weren't wearing it beforehand yeah. and have moved into this where it's sort of elevated a little bit above where you're still comfortable mm. going out. Tracksuits and then you're not, you get stuck in the knees and you don't branch out because I was like, come here and try and try it on. And I'm like, oh, this, this is how I want, this is how I want to look. Yeah. Do you have the other colour or you've set on the green? I haven't tried that yet. I yeah. Again, I've done that before. I do prefer the t-shirt under an overshirt. I do, but yeah. obviously it's not to say that that can't work because I can't fly right, up on that, like I say, so. But that green, it's heavy in it. We actually spent a long time trying to get that green right. Boxing's massive. Yeah. It, all, it is, a lot of people love it. Yeah. I think obviously for lads as well, where they go out and stuff like this, it, as a spectator, let's say, you are a red or a blue? Blue, yeah. You're a like, blue? I'm not a huge football fan, but growing up, maybe I was more mm. of a fan um, of blue. But then I, as I'm, I've got older, I've shied away from it, but I still, like the last few seasons, tune in the last few games, knowing that we need we need a few, a, a bit, some big wins, ah, yeah, yeah. thankfully. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's looking like we're doing a bit better this season, so yeah. Might have to open the door, to be honest, like being a blue in here. Yeah, you're right. Nah, nah. Liverpool's massive, like, 
growing up, I realized, because I've come from, born in London, so mm-hmm. coming in, it's like a, a bit massive culture change. And Liverpool's just football and boxing. That's the yeah, two yeah. big sports. And I, so I, I got into one of them, really good at boxing, but uh, football, I just, well, that was terrible. Mm-hmm. I remember the first one, went to training, and then, uh, yeah. Can't, can't kick the ball. Couldn't do it. Nah, <laughs> I can run all day, run and tackle all day. I can't. Choose the ball comes up, you're like, wow, I don't know what to do. Maybe try NFL and then instead, man. Yeah. 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 Now, nah, how, how, how did you get into boxing then? Obviously, we, we, from the very beginning, like, where did you go? And Yeah, so it um, started off in kickboxing in London. When I lived in London, mm-hmm. I'm used to take this kickboxing class, loved it, really good, good coach. And when we moved to Liverpool, um, we found one, and uh, they're local to use. They're Ben right and next door, man. It's you, Mass Jim, man. A, a gym in St. Helens at the time and uh, yeah I went there loved it my cousin went to a boxing gym though he said why don't you try that out and I remember going the first day and it was just like kickboxing was very clean very orderly very loads of discipline respect mm-hmm. boxing was just gritty and, and it was like there's spit everywhere there's blood there's everything was dirty and I just remember thinking it just had that all around it and then uh, because I was good at it good at kickboxing when I fronted boxing I was I stood out straight away and had all eyes on me everyone was standing around looking at me and I thought yeah this is so, for you. Yeah, this is for me, and um, yeah. yeah, never look back. From that day, boxing was just my life. Big fight coming up in um, December second, so mm-hmm. in a month's time, in Belfast, and uh, it's a fight, fight for my old title, my WBO European. This lad's mm-hmm. won it, um, so yeah, be chance for that. Bring that home. Well, you win over you will. I think that's each year's all day. Yeah, it's so we'll sort it out. We'll get it all to the till in a minute, man. We'll get it boxed off. Like my career stuff there's, there's definitely a route for me to get into PT and, and, and stuff like because I've got a lot of advice there yeah. written down that I can use to, for people so would, would you say that's your future I think so yeah like, uh, why not like I was thinking of go down another route I'm not really um, into coaching but then yeah, I was talking to this lad yesterday I was sparring one of his lads um, he's a pro he's, he's our age but he's retired he got an injury hmm. um, and he's like yeah I didn't think I'd be made for it but then when I realised how much I know, we've got knowledge that we've learnt over the years and uh, you've got to make the most of it. So it's definitely something I can do. This year when I lost my fight for the world title, um, I was like, oh, the career's over, I've lost a fight. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I started PT and that's how I started taking uh, people that know PT and like, I took one of my sponsors, took my mum, um, my cousin and I, just to practice. And I, I enjoyed it. So it's definitely something I'd like to do. Definitely something. Yeah. And it's keeping well, well. me fit and, and training as well, yeah. which I think I'll always need to do all my life for my for my son. Like in the past, maybe when people reach their peak when they were 21 in boxing, like I think the last f- few decades, that's just spread out now. Like yeah. you see some world champions now, most world champions this day and age is like 30, late, mid to late 30s, which oh, is like. Yusuf now, like Yusuf. Yeah, he's the same. Yeah, 30. 37 maybe. Yeah. Oh, he's old. Yeah. yeah. Then Terence Crawford, one of the best of all, the yeah. best at the moment, 35. Mm-hmm. So everyone's like this kind of age, and it's just through the the science and the, how the sport's grown and well, people Ronaldo, living better. Ronaldo in football. Yeah, back. like him. Yeah. At the end of the day, he's the example of it. I think his body is like the age of like what 20 odd year old. He's Freak. nearly 40 now, isn't he? So Unreal. 38. Right, so got the elements thrown in there for you, along with the green Ripple Print t shirt and the green PK Polo. So you've got two different options there. Yeah, where the polo oh, tonight. Yeah, definitely. Flying. And then the plain uh, black so pants. Awesome. That's my go to. Yeah. Yeah. It's so much there. They can go, it's gonna go, they're gonna go with so much of my stuff. Yeah, it's just dead easy. Yeah. Just what Obviously, that's the whole thing of all this. It just blends with everything, everything. at the end of the day. So it's yeah. just whatever you could do here, even the things that you've got already. Matches. Why not put that yeah. with that and stuff like this? So, and then obviously the sip up over shirt in yeah. the black as well. That sip up over yeah. shirt is, is like, it's incredible to be honest. Like you say, you put, I put them with like jeans, but then obviously it's the same material as our pants. So it's just it's cool, cool, heavy all around. Yeah. Cheers, Appreciate lad. it anyway, lad. Yeah. Thank all right. All good. Thank you for this. Yeah, no problem at all. That's for you. Cheers, bro. All right. Yes, let's go.